What's up everyone, back for another beer mail, and today I'll be unboxing a beer mail courtesy once again of Hot Butcher for the World, so huge thanks to them for this box of goodies. So recently, my favorite local bottle shop Brewed and bottled in Lewiston, New York, got a drop of Hot Butcher beers. I think there were four different ones, and I wanted to uh, grab a couple to review. So I hit up Jeremiah over at Hot Butcher for a recommendation, and he suggested Cali Cool, which is a West Coast style IPA, and their Triple Presto Changeo, which is a hazy triple IPA. So I picked both of those up. You probably have already seen the review of Cali Cool, and the Triple Presto Changeo review should be out in a couple days. And Jeremiah and I were talking a little bit, and then all of a sudden, I got a notification that I got a package coming from Hot Butcher. That's the type of dude Jeremiah is. And I'm actually unboxing this a couple uh, days after it showed up, and I noticed in my YouTube feed that a couple other fellow beer tubers, Matt over at Massive Beers and Ridgeopolis, uh, both uh, got boxes. So I think Jeremiah uh, sent uh, a box of goodies out to the uh, regulars in the beer tubing community that he typically sends boxes out to. So I think that is fantastic. Now, I have not watched any of those beer mail unboxings. I want to kind of be surprised at what is in this box. So I kind of refrained from doing so. I have no idea what's in here. If I had to guess based on the size of this box, I'm probably saying about a dozen beers. But we'll see. So I'm going to throw this to the side. It's a pretty damn big box and we're going to start going through it. So I opened it up already, but I did not look inside. I just wanted ease of access. I don't want to mess around. Um, okay. That came off pretty easy. And yes, there's 12 beers, but <laughs> the interesting thing is there is four 16 fluid ounce cans, or sorry, uh, eight um, 16 fluid ounce cans and four 12 fluid ounce cans. I don't know if I had a 12 fluid ounce can from Hot Butcher. So uh, it looks like there's doubles of everything. So probably 12 beers in total, six of which are, are unique. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with the 12 ounce cans first. So we got two of these. What is this? Oh, it's not a beer. What is this? Hop water for the world. So this is a Citra Mosaic and Eldorado hopped non-alcoholic sparkling hop water. Alcohol. 0.0% alcohol by volume. That's pretty wild. Does it have tasting notes? It does. I'm not going to look at them. I just, I went by real quick. You guys can see them, whatever the case may be. Um, this was packaged on September 11th of 2024. So about a little, a little under three weeks ago. Now that's what I call high quality H2O. Waterboy reference. I love it. Um, so I guess I really wasn't prepared for this. Um, I don't really review non- beer related items on my channel. I haven't. However, recently I've been toying with the idea of occasionally dropping reviews of meads, hard ciders, and maybe even some hard seltzers, and perhaps even some hop water. So put it this way, if you want to see me review this specifically, and you'd like to see some miscellaneous reviews, so to speak, on my channel that aren't beer relate, uh, re related, but alcohol related, let me know. And I'll review this one. If I get enough interest, I will definitely do so. Um, this sounds very unique. Now, I don't know you know, as far as like a sparkling hot water goes, like how intricate the review would be. I'm not a huge fan of uh, seltzer in general. Like I always get the, a lot of folks will say carbonic acid. I'm always reminiscent, um, or I always reminisce, I should say, when uh, I drink a seltzer of any kind of Elka-Seltzer growing up. Uh, maybe that's the, you know, just I have that a bad memory of it. And I don't love them, but some of them can be okay. So anyway, um, yeah, if this is something you want to see me review, let me know and I'll try to get to it. So yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty wild. I uh, <laughs> they would send hop water. And I remember seeing this on Instagram, so pretty cool. Now, the other 12 fluid ounce can they have here looks to be a... Oh, okay, I did see this. So I did see them re uh, release this. This is their Butcher Gold. This is a Liberty Hop American style lager, 4.75%. They definitely have um, tasting notes on the back. And this one was packaged also on September 11th. I love bold. So... I know. Does it say I love? I love bold. I love gold. Austin Powers. So um, I, I don't think I showed you the hot water. Uh, not that it really matters. I'm gonna try to make sure I can see the tasting notes. I'm gonna look right at the camera and not try to look at anything else. Same thing with this one, Butcher Gold. I love this. It's cool they're doing 12 fluid ounce cans. Um, if I was local in Chicago, I'd probably keep this in the fridge just because. Why not? All right. So I'll definitely be reviewing that. It is a beer. No doubt. So I'll be reviewing that. Next, we have their Gulf Coastal. So this is a Mosaic anchovy and an Amarillo hopped double IPA, 8% alcohol by volume. Um, 
not looking at the tasting notes, not looking at taste notes. This is a collaboration with the Tampa Bay Brewing Company. I'd imagine out of Tampa Bay, Florida. And this was packaged on September 24th of 2024. This is just like, just, it's like a week old. Wow, where's the shore gone? Nice. So I've had like one or two beers with anchovy hops. No, they don't taste like anchovies, but it's an interesting hop. So mosaic anchovy and Amarillo. So nice, Gulf Coastal. Pretty cool. So we'll throw this over here as well. Next, we have, oh, I like the color of this. I was going to pick something out, but I like the color of this. A Roar of Colors. I like the color of this, I said. A Roar of Colors. Rako Rawaka Galaxy and Mosaic Hop, the double IP, 7.5%. It is not a collaboration, and this one was canned on uh, September 23rd of 2024. It says something, the Spectrum. Maybe, like, respect the Spectrum? I don't know. This is a badass fucking uh, can art. I love the colors on this. I just love everything about this. I mean, the beer sounds good too, but the label, Dan Jetsa knows what, I'm, I'm pretty sure Dan Jetsa does all their stuff, right? Is there any way to say anything on there? Yep. Mm, yep, I work by Dan Jetsa. That's fantastic. That is an awesome looking label. So two double IPAs. Next, we have their Chicago Fest. So we have an Oktoberfest. That's pretty sweet. Um, so this is their Hallertau uh, Middle Fru, uh, Middle Fru, uh, Holler Tower Middle Fruit Hopped Oktoberfest Style Lager, 5.5%. Don't think it's a collab. It is not. And this one uh, was packaged on September 9th of 2024, so about three weeks old. It says Squirrel Fest. <laughs> nice. Now, I don't know if this is a, supposed to be a Fest beer or a Meritzen, but I guess we'll find out. That's a cool, that's another cool label as well. I like it. You got the pretzel there holding the, um, the Illinois uh, flag. Or I guess, or is that the Chicago? I think it's the Chicago flag or is that the Illinois flag? I can't remember. Um, has a glass of beer. Pretty fantastic. That's a cool ass label. And then last but not least, we have their, oh, Lord Galactopus. Oh, wow. I've seen a lot of my untapped friends drink this one and really dig it. Uh, this is a Mosaic and Galaxy Hop Double IPA, 8%. It is not, not a, a collab. This one was uh, packaged on September 17th of 2024. So like right around two weeks old intergalactic tentacles. So I think this is a mashup of their Galaxy Bowl and their Lord Octopus, both of which are fantastic beers. Galaxy Bowls, all Galaxy Hops, Lord Octopus, all Mosaic Hops. So this is a mashup and I love, I love the look. It reminds me of Krang from the um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles being in there, kind of, to some degree. That's a fantastic, another fantastic label. Wow, this is this is pretty freaking wild. Um, so we have a hop water, we have a uh, American style lager, we have a <laughs> Oktoberfest lager, and then we got three double IPAs, a good little mixture of beers here. Like I said, if you wanna see a review of the hop water, please let me know, otherwise I'm just gonna drink it off camera. I I've been, again, I'm a beer channel, so introducing non-beer uh, related uh, items for reviews. I don't know how that's gonna go, but I, I think I'm gonna start sneaking in, at the very least starting early next year, maybe later this year, some mead, some hard ciders, uh, some hard seltzers, and maybe some other stuff. But um, I like it because I do drink that stuff very occasionally. I, before I got into beer, I was actually a hard cider drinker. I've been drinking meads for like the last 15 years as well. Um, and there's a nice couple meaderies here in the Buffalo, New York area, but yeah, anyway. What beers of these six, or I guess five beers in the hot water, are you looking forward to me reviewing the most? Without question, it's the Lord Galactopus. I've uh, heard good things. I like both of the beers that make up this one. It sounds fantastic. A Roar of Colors. I love the label. I'm probably going to like the beer. An Oktoberfest, I remember I did their, um, was it Lager Beer Hall a couple years ago? That was a pretty good Oktoberfest, so I'm curious to see if this is a similar um, recipe or not. Obviously, the regular American lager, and then you got Gulf Coastal. So I'm looking forward to all of these. Post in the comment section which ones you're looking forward to the most. I'm sure that all of you guys, if you watch other beer tubers that I'm friends with or in the community in general, you probably have already seen some unboxing, so you probably weren't surprised like I was. But guess what? I'm looking forward to all this. So I appreciate everybody stopping by for another Beer Mail unboxing. Huge thanks to Jeremiah and everybody at Hot Butcher for the continued support over the four and a half years on my channel. has been awesome trying so many beers from Hot Butcher. It's cool they get some distro, and it's cool that Jeremiah will still throw out some boxes from time to time um, because they are a bigger brewery now. They got their tap room. They are very well known. So Jeremiah doesn't have to do stuff like this at all, and he still does because he's a great dude, and I, I can't recommend Hot Butcher beer enough. So anyway, I'm going to shut this one down. Appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer mail unboxing to the next one. Cheers.